World's number one. What have I got to show for it now? Sachi Boot came because I was trying to do a Harold Pinter play. Couldn't get the rights. And so I said to uh, my actor friend at the time, a man called Graham Chin, I tell you what, Graham, I'll write something and you act it and I'll direct it. And that was where we started from. And I, I, I sat down and I wrote one page, the first page of Touch of Blue and sent it over to him, thinking that he'd come back and say, this is rubbish. And he actually phoned me immediately and said, did you wrote this? And I said, I did. He said, I think it's the best thing I've ever read. We then done a, we did a week in Edinburgh and that went very well. Uh, that went very well. Uh, but we've never thought of filming it. And then Joe said, well, why don't we do it? Why, why everything else is happening? Why don't we do that? Joe uh, Wenborn phoned me and he just told me what uh, he was doing. And uh, I thought it sounded great. So, um, he asked me if I'd be interested in playing uh, Derek Hodges, so uh, I, I read the script and yeah, of course I did, jumped in it. Dougie! Call me, you bastard! Uh, I, it, it's completely different to anything I've ever done before. I mean, the acting that I've done in the past has always been comedy. He's done a fabulous job, his man's a talented actor, which is such a relief to everybody who's watched his comedy shows. I mean, look at me. Started off in the game uh, as a child actor. Uh, appeared in the film Bugsy Malone when I was a kid, playing the part of Louis in Fat Sam's Gang. And then I became a comic, a stand-up comic. I've been a stand-up comic for many years, dip in and out every now and then, do an acting job. So we're in a place called Hainault in Essex, and we are in a um, little makeshift studio on the edge of Hainault in an industrial estate is very well written and it's a great and it's it's also something that's that's not around much now it's it's, it's not a kitchen sink drama as such but it's got that feel about it that, that you know that used to be very popular and it's um and it'll, it'll be something different for people to look at the most important thing about any film is a great script it's not about the photography it's not about the lighting it's about the great script and this is fabulous it takes you on a journey um it starts pretty low and it goes down from there um, and it's about the descent of a man. I went from being probably one of the busiest comics in the country to suddenly doing nothing like most of us. And it, it really was, it was getting to me, I'll be honest with you, especially by the end of June, I was, I was thinking, that's it, you know, you feel like you're never going to work again. Because of the, the, uh, the lockdown, uh, we had to rehearse, uh, Jeff and I rehearsed via Zoom. When, it, when I first got it, I was rehearsing at home. And then I started doing these uh, Zoom rehearsals, which, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm quite old. I, I'm, I didn't even know what Zoom was until uh, uh, the COVID uh, situation came in. I've got my mask here. It, it makes photography uh, a bit of a challenge. Um, so I have to guess a lot of where I'm pointing the camera. But we're safe on set and that's the most important thing. As we film things, and I saw Jeff getting into the character more, uh, saw the shots on screen, and how it's wonderful they looked. Uh, it, it really inspired me and made me feel more confident. So my expectations look great every day, and today being the last day of filming, uh, I'm over the moon with the whole thing. It's been great. It really was a cold start for Jeff, and. Uh, I applaud him for his, uh, the way he's handled the whole thing. Thank you, dear boy. And uh, we, uh, worked with a great team. Dave Thorpe, wonderful DP and uh, co-director, really. I mean, Dave's got some wonderful ideas. And finally, uh, anything that you've learnt this week? Nothing whatsoever. Ask me another question. <laughs> uh, yeah, but not about filmmaking. I've learned about Greg's. Greg's is good. I've never been in a Greg's before. I've loved it. I've loved every minute and uh, sadly we've only got this afternoon to go and that'll be it. The biggest challenge with um, the restrictions of filming during coronavirus is we got to work with a limited crew. Um, so typically where there'd be you know, 14 or 15 of us working on this, here there's only six of us working on it. Yeah, it, it works. It works. Everybody knows what they're doing, except me.
and we um, we get good results from it. So that's one of the things I've learned from it really is that if it if it's necessary, we can shoot with a small crew. And coronavirus and COVID nineteen has taught me that. It's been great. It's always good to film. It's always good fun. Yeah. And I think everyone who's been on set has contributed to make the the project, make the film a better thing. It's been great. It's all great. I've really enjoyed it. I really have. And I, I'd like to do more work like this, please.